What's up everybody, my name is CJ Faison. First and foremost, welcome to my channel. So unfortunately on this trip, I'm alone. I heard so many stories about this place, about an hour and 40 minutes away from my house. This is definitely a different type of story. So the location I'm going to tonight has a really interesting story. It's about a man who had barely any money to his name. He was in his mid twenties when he met his love of his life. Her family had more money than anyone know what to do with. The father looked at this guy as if, hey, you're not good enough for my daughter, you can't provide for her, all of this crazy stuff. Back in the day, if you weren't married, you weren't supposed to have kids. They were in what they call wedlock. These two were so in love with each other. One thing leads to another, and now they're expecting a child. And it is rumored that the father was basically hunting this man down. He was going for this guy's throat. So the father was a very wealthy farmer. He he went into town, found the boy, said, hey, get in. And I'm assuming that's like a horse and buggy. They started to talk. And whatever conversation they had in there got really heated. And it was rumored that the boy jumped out of the moving carriage and was like, fine, I'll never see your daughter ever again. The father went back to the daughter and said, hey, listen, he doesn't love you. And he was just trying to get money. And he admitted this to me and it like told me all these crazy things and that his feelings were not true for you. So obviously she is very, very, very upset. They find him floating in the water. Now you get a middle-aged man's body floating in the water, you would think one of two things, either an accident occurred or there's foul play. And that's exactly what the rumors are. So it is rumored that the boy, still to this day, is wandering down the road in all over, like there's these little bridges and stuff. I have never, ever, ever been to any of these locations. There's three of them tonight that I'm gonna try out because it doesn't really tell me exactly where this particular bridge is, but there's a bridge with like a walkway and around that walkway is around where I guess they found him. A lot of stories, a lot of speculation, but one thing can be for sure, I'm gonna give you all an entertaining video because I'm alone. And when I'm alone, I'm a little bit more fearful. I probably end up screaming. So I know some of you guys love that. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's keep on and get into this video. And also, if you don't mind, I'm running a really cool thing on my Instagram where if you go to my Instagram, it's at CJ Face and I do not have multiple Instagram accounts. It's just that one. And comment on the most recently uploaded post, whether it's a video or a photo or whatever. Comment something nice, comment something funny. I almost dropped you all there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be selecting five people out to win a free hoodie from shopmotivator.com. So without any further ado, love y'all so much and uh, let's get into this video. All right, so I'm finally here at the bridge and road and little trail area. I'm a little creeped out. I'm by myself and I don't know if I like this or not. Oh no. Again, nervous. I got the window down. Can't even lie to you. Uh, a, little, a little terrified of that, but you know what? It is what it is. All right, y'all. I got quiet quick. Hmm. All right. Oh. So I do, I do want to let everybody know, um, this is something kind of sensitive wise. Uh, there is a memorial site right there and I'm not sure what happened here. I just, as soon as I pulled in, uh, I was like, okay, there, there's, there basically, this looks newish, right? And as paying respect to this person, I'm not trying to ghost hunt for who this person is or whatever happened to them. I'm here for, oh wow, okay, there's the trail. I am here basically to ghost hunt for the gentleman who was, you know, presumably found in the water. And again, this is back in the 1800s, so this story might just be folklore, but I think this is a trail right over here.
Jeez, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. Like, what is this stuff here? Mm-mm. We know what that rag was used for. Some F-U-N bun. Why are my lights still on in my truck? Oh, it's my backup lights. I gotta turn them off. So again, just a piece of advice. If you ever come to a spot like this and it has like a newerish memorial site, like I, I kind of just, the whole ghost hunting thing, as long as you're respectful and pay your respects, that's one thing. But like some people like are a little crazy. Like if a celebrity dies, like they go to like the grave site and stuff. And I just, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. Y'all comment in the section, comment. There's too many damn noises out here for me. Whoa, how'd I miss that? What? Get out of here. What size are they? A little too big for me, but you know. I don't know why you would just leave, maybe somebody like backed their truck up here and got changed out of those and then left them here. Weird. Really, really weird. I have no idea what's back here, but there's a trail. Kinda. Hopefully there's like... Not a homeless camp back here or something crazy. Y'all can see, it's a, this is sketchy. Oh wow. Okay. Well, that's different. Good grief, if I fell in right now, like that's the water's edge, like I'm dead. Why is there boards? Oh, oh, that's why. Are there any spirits around me right now? If you can communicate through this right here. I'm holding a device that if you come up around me and speak near it, this will intercept your voice. Turn my heated uh, vest on, I can tell you all that. It's cold, I need gloves. Do you know what time of year it is? Do you know what time of year it is? Forward. All right, forward, okay. I'm not going forward into the water, I can tell you that much. What the f was that? 
What the f was that? That had to be an animal or something. I don't even know what that was, but that was loud. get some gloves. The loud noise up here at the truck, not sure what that is, but we're gonna investigate it. It almost sounded like it kind of was coming from the bridge area. And to be honest with you, I think I might put a jacket on. It is pretty. Let's go go something, boys and girls, let's go. So to let y'all know, I've got all kinds of stuff in here. I got rim pods, I got extra cameras, but I also brought out this. This is one of the spirit boxes that so many of you all love and have grown to love, I should say. Got my cowboy boots, other cowboy boots, just in case I need them. This bridge here is around about the area. I think I'm at the right spot at least, but this is around about the area where they found the, uh, the gentleman floating, which I don't know how deep that water is. Don't really want to find out. Too damn cold for me. But yeah, this is a uh, this is just creepy to me because it's in the middle of nowhere. Literally in the middle of nowhere. What does that sound say? Something about wildlife management boundary. Okay. Shit, there's a car coming. Shit. Area is too creepy for me. Okay. All right. <laughs> Proceed again. I just uh. That's what I call. I don't want to be caught with my pants down type situation, where I'm too far away from my truck. And there's no other possible pathway to get back to my truck without having to swim. So, with that being said, I'm glad I saw that truck when I did. So like all of this area here, like yeah, oh shoot, shit. Hello. Hello. <laughs> all right, come on now. We gotta get the spirit box or the rim pod or something. That was weird. <laughs> it kind of caught me off guard. <sighs> I love when a oh love, love when a good 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 old scare happens because this here just makes for great video. And honestly, I thought I was kind of wasting my time. And like I might have added in the beginning of the video, unfortunately, Chris could not make it because he is in New York. But sometimes the solo investigations, you all love these just as much as when I'm with like. Sonny or Chris or anybody for that matter. So let's do something here. Let's set up our camera. There's any spirits here with us tonight. I'm gonna invite you to come out and uh, 
come out and speak with us there uh, or us me <laughs> or if there's any other spirits that want to ask questions I guess but I'm gonna turn this device on if you come anywhere in the general vicinity of me and you speak my device will pick that up Now my battery's dying. I don't know what the f Okay, hang on. Battery's dying, I'm gonna run this out till the battery dies, I'm gonna try to get back to the truck. We're gonna grab a new battery. What just pulled me? Did you just say me? What's your name? So, switched out batteries. Got the spirit box here on the back of the truck. But what I also noticed was this little trail system over here that I thought was pretty interesting that I wanted to, that's locked. I wanted to go down this. Oh, we got a little boat ramp right here, what? All right, all right, okay. I'll tell y'all what. 
let's do something here because I, I like this. If you all have seen Chris and I when we go looking for cars that are submerged underwater, this might be a good candidate of an area like if you wanted to get rid of something that not is like high traveled. <clears throat> so if you want to see us do either an investigation on our inflatable boat with the motor on it, <laughs> of course, but if you want to see that where we launch it off right here into the water, maybe even at nighttime and we kind of go around and an investigation on the boat, get this video to 35,000 likes and we'll even spend the night out here and we'll take the boat out during like sunset to like darkish time. Um, we'll have to get some lights for the boat too. So that's not your all's problem. But anyway, 35,000 likes, let's get there. Chris doesn't know this yet, but when Chris gets back from New York, I'm gonna be like, hey man, in the video, I kind of mentioned something. Hopefully you don't mind. So smash that like button. What the hell is that noise? This is creepy. There's like multiple pathways to the water. It's just weird. What is that? Oh no, somebody took a dookie back there and wiped their ass. Oh, well I'm glad they wiped, but you know what I mean. That's a little nasty. Oh, somebody's wife packed them a sandwich bag. Somebody else took a dookie here. This is nasty. People, y'all need to learn how to hold it. But they always say, when a man's gotta go, he's gotta go. Ow, all these are briars that I'm walking through. Okay, I feel like I've been walking for what seems to be 400 feet. trail ends right there. Jeez, I feel like I'm gonna see someone's head pop up through these, through these things and I'm not gonna be happy about it. Oh no. Uh oh, we ain't going no further here folks. It's all marsh. All right, well back this way. I can even find my way through here. I think this is it. Oh no. Alright. Shit, I'm lost. Every, every which way seems like a damn trail. Uh. Okay, here's the trail. Whew. Go ahead. Ah, you bitch! Oh my gosh, that bird. Oh my gosh, my damn lungs hurt. I'm so sorry for that. I might not even put that in the video. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that little bird, little Tweety. Tweety got me good. Oh no. Alright. Oh. All right, now that I literally caught a slight heart attack. Whew. Damn. I got more pricklies in me than I know what to do with. If somebody's around right now, I definitely either, number one, I scared the shit out of them, or number two, they just think that something happened to somebody out here. Because that shit was scary. Oh my gosh. That bird was like three feet from my face. What a rush. What a rush. I'm gonna fire up the uh, spirit box again, just for a brief moment, and see if we can get anything to come through. While that's happening, right here, I'm just gonna kinda be walking around, shining my flashlight. Thank <laughs> you. 
for the, uh, the spear who was supposedly, the person who was supposedly found around this area. Were you badly in love? I might be losing my mind, and I very well could be, but I swear to you it sounded like somebody just like went and like drugged something right behind me. see some lights like way off in the distance it's got to be a couple of miles away at least some really strange noises coming Sometimes it sounded like people are talking, and then other times it sounds like a person screaming. 
I'm not sure what to think about it, honestly. The spirit of the man that was found, if you're around here, can you show yourself to me? I would be greatly, greatly thankful. I'm very appreciative. I understand if uh, you're probably a little nervous. Oh boy, this is all marsh. Oh man. All right, well. Probably shouldn't be walking on that. It, just, it looks like grass over here. It looks like, you, like a field that you could walk on, but it's actually just marshland. I want you all to comment below, like stop the video and let me know exactly what you all think. Is this a haunted place? Like, do you feel from everything that you have witnessed here on the video with me, is this a place that's haunted? Does it have some haunted tendencies or do you think it's like downright haunted? Because as of right now, I'm really thinking, hey, <laughs> this might be pretty damn haunted. I mean, it feels like I'm, be I, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna front on any of y'all and pound my chest and be like, oh yeah, it's not that bad. Like when I do a 360 scan, I literally feel like there's something watching me everywhere I look. I mean, everywhere that I look. Any direction that I look in, I'm like, oh yeah, there's like something that's gotta be standing close to me. Or, or something. I just... I don't know. This this whole... The whole vibe of this place. I think because it's so far out into the middle of nowhere. I think it has a lot to do with it. I mean an hour and 45 minutes from my house. So when you... <laughs> when you think about it. It's a pretty long way. And... The closer to home you are, usually the braver you are. But, you know... Hell, if this thing was five minutes down the road from my house, I'd still be a little nervous. But I'm, I'm trying to figure out what that noise could have been. So when I was standing at the back of the truck right here, it was like a loud noise. And I'm still confused of why you leave your boots here. I'm not really sure, maybe a, maybe a mistake, but who knows. Yeah, if you guys get this video to 35,000 likes, I got a really good feeling that this is gonna be one of the creepier videos that we've ever filmed especially on a boat inflatable in the winter time at night like what could what could possibly go wrong so i haven't mentioned much about spending the night throughout the course of this video because i didn't want to freak myself out by saying yeah i'm spending the night oh it's gonna be scary oh my gosh this happens or oh my gosh that happens you know and and like freak myself out but over the past like 20 minutes there's not like it doesn't feel creepy is it cold yeah but I think if I just lay down in the back of my truck, I think that's gonna be way better and way easier. And then I'm actually like spending the night, so. <sighs> what in the f was that? I, every time, every time I jinx myself. Hello? So roughly have about three hours until the sun comes up, so. <clears throat> I can't lie, am, am I tired? Yeah, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to go to sleep. But then again, I told you all I was going to spend the night, so I'm like, I'm at a rock and a hard place right now. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's spend the night. All of you at your warm, comfortable living room, bedroom, maybe you're watching from your office, maybe you're watching on a road trip and it's nice and comfortable in the car, I don't know, but I sure would love to know. Comment below where you're watching the video from. Um, where am I filming the video from? In the back bed of my truck. Mm. All right, I've had dumb ideas, but you know, this one here is gonna take a cake.
Damn. Oh. Mr. Sun, you can come up anytime now if you would like. left on the memory card. Alright folks, so yeah that's all we got left on the memory card, so I'm just gonna record to I guess. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn, I, I can't even lie to y'all. I'm I gotta get in the truck because I'm frozen right now. The hell is that thing? Huh. Looks like confetti or something. Yeah, that was great. My truck was unlocked the whole time. Okay, so Unlock the door. I slept like shit. I can't even lie. I'm frozen right now. Hang on. I'm gonna put you up here for just a second. You know how it's like everything's like slow motion? Like, it, like you can't. Like, if I had to text right now, I don't think I could. Like, I don't think I could text right now, even if I had to. Um. Whew. My hands up. I don't think you all would be mad at me for leaving an hour and a half before sunrise, but. I could be wrong, so <laughs> don't kill me in the comment section. Technically, I did like spend the night. Um, it's been a long time out here now that I think about it. Uh, the sun was setting. I probably got out here around like here at the actual spot around like 8, 830. Um, yeah, so just sporadically through the night, it felt like uh, to me, it felt like the time went by really, really fast, and then I went, when I went to lay down, it felt like it was just taking forever. And like every time, like I woke up, I was like, "Oh, please be the sunrise," and it wasn't the sunrise. So I was like, "Okay, don't freak yourself out. Just chill out. You're good. Go back to sleep." And like I could, like I felt like I could get into like a good rhythm of sleep, but like something in my brain was like, "Something is watching you. Like something is around you, watching you." So, I don't know. Please do not kill me in the comments section below. I was freezing in the back 
of the truck. My lips are so cold and my body's so cold that I can't really talk well and it sounds like I have like a lisp or something. Thank you all seriously for supporting this channel. Um, you know what's incredible is that we are on the road to one million subscribers and that to me is freaking awesome. With that being said, my team and I, we came up with a cool idea to be able to give back to you all. So we do a lot of giveaways. If you don't know about Club Motivated, Club Motivated is my app. And that's basically where you go for motivational clips, motivational quotes and stuff like that. But not only that, but you're connecting with fans. And we also have giveaways every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you have not joined that already, go do that. And then what we're also gonna be doing is if you share this video, like the video, and you're subscribed to the channel, we're gonna put your names in a random generator and we're gonna do another big giveaway to where somebody else can come ghost hunting with us. You've seen Tanya, she came ghost hunting with us. We also took a couple of fans to Fairfield, uh, Barb, all of like these like OG people who like I've become friends with now. Like so many of you that I've met, I've literally became friends with them. Like there's people who come ghost hunting with me all the time up in Ohio. We got a lot of footage we're gonna be dropping from that. So uh, Indiana, it's just really, really cool. And I would really appreciate it if you guys do like subscribe to this video, all that good stuff. I am froze right now. So I'm gonna start heading back home to my house. I got about two hour drive. It's gonna be miserable. Not even gonna lie to you. I'm a little tired. What I like to just uh, lean my seat back and go to sleep absolutely i would love to but i can't i think i'm more scared in here than i was outside i know this is going to sound really stupid for a lot of you like you're gonna be like cj are you that dumb yes i am no like for real it to me i feel safer outside because i can hear what's going on right i can hear is there a car coming uh is someone talking we're in here, I've got the motor running, all this kind of stuff. Like, I know it sounds dumb, but mentally, like, I'm I'm at that point where I feel safer outside. So, um, yeah, my worst fear is, like, somebody coming up and, like, knocking on this window right here, and I'm, like, trying not to think about it. So, I'm going to get on the road and start heading to my house. I'm a little tired, so y'all get some rest. I'm going to get some rest, and I'll see you on the next video.